Hey, good day everybody, it's John, checking in with you on Tuesday, October 31st, 2023, for this week's updates. Now we have a lot to unpack today, so this video is going to be a little bit longer, so just bear with me on the details. We're going to do a little bit of house cleaning items before we begin. Um, if you have the chance, if you're not already doing so, please do like, subscribe, and share this video. It helps get our content to others in need who would like to get the information as much as you've been afforded. Also, we have a Telegram channel. I'm sure many of you are already on it, but those of you who are not, please go to t.me slash John, J-O-N Dowling, D-O-W-L-I-N-G, and you can keep abreast of all the updates. We put quite a bit in there every single day to keep you up to date. <clears throat> and last but not least, uh, obviously you're checking in here because you want to know financial and geopolitical updates. And because we're in very difficult and turbulent times right now as we make this economic transition. So for those of you who are struggling financially, to make ends meet, or you maybe just want extra income as a side hustle just to keep your head above water with the upcoming holidays to front off some of the gas or food prices, which is understandable. Uh, we have a new <clears throat> portal that we have called Real World Academy. We'll put a link in the description. It's www.realworldac.com. You can check that out for more details. Now for the updates. Uh, China is working with Pakistan currently uh, along with many other countries in order to de-dollarize uh, the world from the U.S. dollar. This is intensifying worldwide, and this is ultimately going to stream a pull of countries into the BRICS nations. The war in Israel is really a distraction for the reset. I know that's been a question some of you have asked. How significant is that? It's They can't create a war, so they're creating distractions. Uh, Ukraine didn't work. Now they're working in Israel. Next will be China, Taiwan, as we've discussed before. But when you start to see large scale missiles going off from Israel, maybe to the secret nuclear sites in Iran, that's gonna be a trigger for the reset because you're gonna see a lot of these uh, dollar rich countries, as well as commodities for that matter, uh, sell off the US dollars, dump those back here stateside, which will create a, a short period of hyperinflation. That's when the bonds and the currencies we've been eagerly anticipating will happen. Um, the push to remove Biden continues. Uh, I would be looking towards the middle of November uh, as the push from the GOP and the House Speaker uh, Johnson continue to push pressure to the middle. Um, the Democrat constituents will probably use a medical illness as a reason to get him out. So be, be watching for that. Deutsche Bank is cutting roughly 50% of their post-bank branches. Uh, the sell-off is not only about um, removing some of the banks that are not Basel 3 and 4 compliant, but it's also a push to go digital as these currencies are going to go digital. It's also a concerted effort to consolidate the branches that are remaining to be wealth management centers for people like us who are going to do exchanges. Also, I would be watching for big events to occur November 1st to 3rd. It could be anything from an interest rate hike, a reduction, or a pause. It's going to be one of the three. My money is on the fact that they're probably going to do a pause to keep the economy appearing stable as they pump more artificial dollars into the market. We also have the XRP case that the appeal has been denied. That's coming to a close, either a settlement or an outright give up. I believe it's going to just be a, an outright uh, concession by the SEC, and you'll see Gary Gensler step down uh, shortly. Also, another interesting point <clears throat> to, uh, to note is Iraq is having meetings starting the 1st to the 8th. Um, it's a International World Trade Center Day and Fair. So there's going to be a lot of countries there. I'll be watching for that. We should have a much better idea of timelines for when this is going to happen uh, over the next week as this event happens. <clears throat> also, a significant event happens today, the Balfour Agreement in Israel. In 1948, this agreement was signed to give Israel temporary ownership of the land, uh, specifically non-Jews. But that date now is coming to a close as of today. So the lease ends and they no longer have control of those territories. So you're gonna see the people who are the real true Jews, the original landowners, get their land back. And that's gonna be happening successively throughout the world. My last tip for you today is um, be focusing not so much on dates and rates, but what your plan is gonna be when the reset happens. Do you have a plan? Do you have a 90 day plan? Um, where is that money going? How are you gonna position before the dollar is ultimately worthless? Have a plan and plan to act. Think about the people that you're going to bless. If you have a plan, that's great. If you get more specific about it, timelines, people that you intend to help, people that you didn't intend to help, and then being open to different options and 
opportunities that God might put in your way as things transpire along. So that's it for today. Thank you for listening and watching. We appreciate your support, and I'll see you in the next one in a couple days. God bless.